speculate on potential moon bags. Now, I'm not suggesting we do this. And this did any did anyone on here put this one in here, or, or was it from? I think it might have been from last week's uh, or two weeks ago Zoom actually. Um, I suppose with this, we won't we won't give it the full five minutes unless someone's got a, a burning desire to really talk through it. Um, I think the big thing with talking about moon bags and, and potential moon shots, um, we touched on right at the start of the meeting, and I think Chris quite eloquently made the point about it, that um, there are quite a lot of projects out there that don't actually do anything or promise the world and actually don't deliver on it um, and don't have a real use case. So I think what I wouldn't be keen to do is just chuck a load of projects out there that um any of us think are going to moon because i think the background to it really is if you are interested in something like this firstly you need to be in quite early um or find a project that really does have good fundamentals do a lot of research on it um and even then it might just be a case of luck um rather than anything else but who has a view on this particular topic then that they'd like to share Anyone? Well, I think right now it's like meme season. Um, like Pepe did like huge moves. Um, and then Kendano is having like a mini bull run right now. There's like two really big meme coins. So I put some money in Snack. Um, I don't usually oh, that's cold. Do, that's on, yeah. Yeah, I don't really do meme coins often. Um, but sometimes I'll just jump onto the hype. Um, just it, it's mostly fun. So like with these hugely speculative stuff, you know, this this is the game of hot potato, um, where there's like winners and losers, and you've got to understand that it's just a it's a game of like who's gonna um, like keep on buying in and who's gonna sell to. Like eventually, there's gonna be a bust and everything comes crashing down. And like you're either going to sell out too early and then like be like be disappointed that you didn't sell at the top. And like you're already seeing that um we're on Twitter right now because like people bought in um two weeks ago and then it's done like 80x, like you could have you know done 80 times your your initial investments and people are like kicking themselves. But like eventually it's gonna keep it's gonna go to a point and then it's all gonna come crashing down and then you'll kick yourself because you didn't sell um while it was high. So it's all just like a game you don't treat as fun. And so like you can make money, but it, it's pure gambling with these memes. Um it's better to do you know fundamental investing if you want to find like a good solid project that has um potential. You can still speculate on the future because there's still there are a lot of unknowns. You don't know if a project is really going to take off, but you have a better chance um, because you can walk, you know, do, is this going to attract real world users? Does it have real world utility? Does it have a longevity plan? Is it going to actually generate revenues that's sustainable? If you can answer those questions, then it's like a solid long term investment and it's not going to be like a boom and a bust. Um, but the booms and busts are fun. Just, you know, if you go into them, just keep in mind that. Most people are going to lose money on that. Yeah, really good point. Ivan, you've come off mute. Hi. Yeah. Sorry. I just wanted to. Uh, uh, I just wanted to say I agree with um, what Robert was saying. Uh, was that Robert talking? Sorry. Yeah. 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 Totally. I also wanted to say that most of, for, especially for a liquid projects most of the pumps that you see are scam pumps or basically there's one wheel who holds like maybe 20 30 40 percent of the supply would transfer the their coin to an exchange and then they would sell them on retail and so that that's what causes those wicks that you see on the chart mm. uh and um and it's really just manipulation. They basically just manipulate the market, the market makers. It's almost like saying the house always wins. Um, and it's really hard to uh, to predict when that pump is going to happen. Even if you look at accumulation, sort of like 
<clears throat> patterns is still really, really hard. Um, personally, I wouldn't even venture in like uh, scam projects or like illiquid shit coins or meme coins. Um, the most money that I make off of them is just shorting them, but I don't, I wouldn't even um, dare like buying um, those coins for investment purposes. Mm. Yeah, we've seen. I think with um, with Pepe as well. The other the other interesting thing, and, and these are probably some of the guys that, mm. that hold vast amounts, yeah. is the the YouTube influencers as well. Uh, so you'll always find there's some YouTube influencer that's got a, a really totally. big, yeah. big view on it. That it's going to go to the moon, and then all of a sudden, once they mention it on their channel and it pumps, they yeah. offload the bags. So <laughs> um, no, really good point. Cool. So uh, unless anyone wants to extend that, we will finish that topic there.